News and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum says the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation has officially taken over the Ghana Gas Company. The communication consultant at the Energy Ministry, Edward Bauer, explained GNPT has got the expertise and the finances to manage hydrocarbons. Here's a report by Sandra Amakwe. The Minister of Finance in the 2015 budget stated that government has decided to officially allow Ghana National Petroleum Corporation take over the Ghana Gas Company. The Ministry of Energy and Petroleum says the takeover process has officially been completed and GNPC now has total control over Ghana Gas. What we are trying to do is to tap into the expertise of GNPC, the financial strength of GMPC and of course to a very large extent it also feeds into even the law that establishes GMPC. Uh, the setting up of GNGC at the time it was set up was to specifically focus on ensuring that we brought this gas processing plant on stream. Mm -hmm. Communication consultant explained government of Ghana on December 3 appointed Price Waterhouse Coopers Ghana Limited as the transaction advisor with respect to the takeover. Edward Bauer noted PWC, the transaction advisor, would determine the governing role of GNGC. The Ghana Gas Company has been in charge of the Ghana Gas Processing Plant since 2011. The project, which was completed a fortnight ago, is yet to be given an operating license by the Energy Commission. Edward Bauer said, aside the gas from the Jubilee field, which has a lifespan of 20 to 25 years, government is yet to begin the development of the Sankofa Jinyame and the 10 oil sites to help supply about 300 million standard cubic feet of gas in 2018. Meanwhile, the communication consultant explained, despite the challenges in the power sector, the ministry is poised the power crisis would end in April 2015. The Kuntema power plant will come on stream. Mm. And we also believe that at that particular time, we should be now be producing gas about 120 million and cubic feet of gas locally. Mm. And so if you add all these factors, we should be able to exit from the current challenges that we have. We are looking at somewhere around April to have this problem solved. Right, so we keep inviting your thoughts and also our website, newly designed website, tv3network.com. Go there to read more on our headline story and also our Facebook and Twitter pages. Post your comments there on the stories you've seen so far on the news. We'll continue with the rest of our story now and uh, there's a statement suggesting that the takeover has been concluded that's in response to the story you just saw the Ghana Gas Company uh, therefore surprising and premature there's a board and management of Ghana Gas Company says they have not held a single meeting with the transaction advisor uh, who from a statement from the Ministry of Finance said has been appointed neither has a transaction advisor requested the company to provide it with any information Right, so it continues to say while the board has become aware of government intention though through its announcement in the budget and financial estimates of 2015, the transfer of its ownership of Ghana Gas to the GNPC as a limited liability company, the board of Ghana has as of today not passed any resolution nor has the board filed the necessary papers to effect the change in ownership. Uh, it says it cannot therefore said that it has concluded the process uh, or it, the process itself has been undertaken and concluded. Uh, they also say that they are yet to receive any written indications from either the Ministry for Finance or the Ministry of Energy on the takeover decision and the way forward as a company prepares to meet the transaction advisor. All right, so this is a developing story the way it is. So we'll be looking forward to bringing you further developments as the, the news come along.